Yes, so here is the entrance to the Balburnie Park Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Just a little update uh, as we go in. Um, Avtectora 2 is a little late in indicating the left turn coming down from Dundee um, into the site so just be mindful that you turn into the country park bit so as we come up the slight incline on the right you have car park for two cars and in the red coned off it or fenced off area you have a late night arrivals just there yeah with a um, CE17 plug-in so yeah on our left as you come up towards the barrier is the reception nice you come up to the reception and there is a barrier when you choose your pitch you get a key fob for the barrier which you have to open coming in and going out so yeah these are the pitches and facility for the wardens just there and the wardens encampment the information hut there your what three words fire mini So, inside, usual information, and the obligatory def defibrillator. So, there. Just here is your motorhome service point. There are actually three grills. One there. One there. And one there. So, doesn't matter what side you're emptying and it looks like you have to back in would be preferable so you have there drinking water and wastewater flush okay So, there's a fair few of these sleeping policemen around. Oh, look who's up there. Miss, Mrs. J. Hoping that 
Romeo will come to her. No, I'm just, just going to... The... There's a baby and toddlers. Washroom there. There's Mrs. J. You can tell it's warm because Mrs. J has put a dress on. Oh, it's been nice today, hasn't it? Yeah, it's 22 degrees. Yeah, well, from so. the balcony, there's men's laundry ladies' dishwasher around the corner, and then you look, see all over. Yeah. See all over that side. There's some tent fields over there as well. Yeah, this says tents welcome. Yeah, that's so, over there. The, the purple are seasonal pitches, aren't they? Yeah, we saw them at so, the last place. I've never seen yeah. them before, but we saw them last time. So there's your men's, and you need a code oh. to get in. Laundry. Sink. There. And tumble dryer and washing machine. The toilets are just the usual. Yeah, it is brick building. Not the really old ones, not the new ones, but the in between ones. Sorry. And the dishwashing area. Three sinks and a bin. Yeah. Nice. Next to the dishwashing area, your bins. And then there is a little path that goes across there onto to that area. So, cloggy. The roads are a little bit narrow, but <laughs> drivable. Right, on your right, you know, in front of us, we've got chemical disposal for, for your toilet. And there used to be bins, but they've all gone central. And you've got wastewater and drinking water and a fire extinguisher. Yep. I'm going to go down there and get back to Toby. Make sure he's behaving himself. <sighs> what, what was that, Mrs. J? I'm going back to Toby and make sure he's behaving himself. Behaving himself. Yeah, you're just going around there. So there, there is our motorhome there and red up with its little um, mark of our altercation in Dundee. So, the first area is like shale, but they do have like a privacy separation. Well, they are quite big pitches. Again, you'll see these um, purple pegs, uh, which apparently are seasonal. 
So these are normally occupied by seasonal caravans, motorhomes. Now, we've moved on about uh, 50 yards and we're looking at the grass pitches. with electric yeah some people prefer these because they get a lot of sun during the summer but still surrounded by trees to give you a little bit of shade so there are your hand there's a wastewater, drinking water and I'm not sure whether there is an Elson point I can't see one it may have been in there but it's probably been taken away so there's more grass pitches there yeah let's continue so you come off the um, grass pitched area, bare right, and you come down to the lower tier. So as you can see, there's pitch white pegs and purple pegs as well. So there's going go pods. Nice little fit, and that is on the permanent pitch. So, yeah, needs a wash. As you can see, these do have like privacy hedging. Quite a big pitch. They do back on to a housing estate but we haven't found any issue at present see they've all got there are some that are pitches only no awning but yeah Oh, she's standing guard. So, this 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 is our pitch. As you can see, it's got drive up paving, and our uh, thing is down. So, yeah. What do you think of it here? I don't like that bit. Mrs. J doesn't like the flats that are behind. No, I don't think that's good. But, but I've worry. I've not heard any issues, so Oh no, I just don't like the thought of it. I feel like we're on a housing state. But there weren't many pictures left, were there? No. Pictures left so, what about but, the stable? Round up. At present, would you come again? It's been, uh, it's been okay, isn't it? Been okay. Yeah, not our favourite place, but no, but served the purpose. Compared to Culloden, mm. I, I'll give rate this higher than Culloden. Mm. I'm not. I don't think so. Why? No, I liked it. I thought that was better than here. I don't know. Six and two threes. We got what we wanted oh, done. Oh, yeah. Out so, of this, yeah. yeah. We went to Anstruther, we went to Lucas. Yeah. We were going to go back to St Andrews, but it was so busy 
Oh, came th through. There was about an hour waiting getting back into St Andrews. So. Yeah, because of road work. So and the work. only road was back to Cooper. Yeah, so. so. But we did what we came to do, didn't yeah. we? I'm glad we only just had two nights. So off tomorrow. Yeah, we're off tomorrow. So we're off down to Nunnykirk. Mm. About a 120 mile drive. So, yeah. Catch you then. We'll uh, catch you a bit later. Quick pan round of the site. So there's some pitches there. Another service point. The yellow pegs are for the tents. tent area and slight descent and around the corner and then back up as you can see all the tents are behind you there and there's some more in the little alcove there mainly caravans Oh yeah, nice little site, I think. Good areas. Mrs. J isn't too happy about the housing, but it's not the only site that we've been that's been surrounded by housing, like in Holland. Yeah. Good, I like it. Hi there, so we've just had two nights at Nunny Kirk near Morpeth and we're just driving out. It's been a lovely site, really peaceful, there's three fields like this, all grass, no facilities and they're closing next week for good, aren't they Dave? Yeah, the club's decided to... Uh, it's non-profit making so... But it's, it's not making a profit 
the ground rent's 5,000 a year according to the warden. Um, last year with the floods and um, this year they lost £57,000. So uh, the club's decided to close it along with Crystal Palace because that was on a rolling contract. There's several, several that they're closing anyway. But it's a shame because it's yeah. so peaceful, isn't it? Peaceful, nice. Mm. Apparently they were looking at putting hard standings in, but too expensive. With it? seven years, it's not worth. The only lease, it's not worth it. So, but. Uh, Another gem lost by the car uh, motorhome and caravan. Caravan and motorhome club. Well, there's quite a lot of people. <laughs>